You may be familiar with something called an Assignment of Benefits or AOB form, traditionally used when filing medical insurance claims. This form started in the medical field, then migrated to auto personal injury protection claims and is now in use by contractors and emergency service vendors. The purpose of this informational video is to explain assignment of benefits as it relates to contractors and vendors that provide services to consumers associated with homeowners insurance claims, such as water extraction companies. For example, the refrigerator water supply line ruptured while Mrs. Rodriguez is at her mother's house for dinner and she returns to a kitchen full of water. Unsure of what to do, she calls a water extraction company and is so relieved when they knock on her front door that she gladly signs the paperwork presented to her to get the dry out services started. We have all heard it, read before you sign any document. We have all done it, signed without reading the document. Let me remind you again, read before you sign. And here's why. When a customer has a fire or a flood, it is routine that emergency service vendors will have the homeowner, Mrs. Rodriguez in this case, sign paperwork before they begin work on the home. The vendor wants to be assured that they are paid or have a direction to pay signed and in place so they can be compensated by the insurance company and or consumer for services they perform. What is not routine is when the paperwork being presented for the homeowner signature includes language that allows the vendor to stand in the shoes of the homeowner. This paperwork takes control of the claim away from the homeowner and can result in abuse of the claim process by the vendor. In extreme cases, this form can even allow the vendor to present a claim for additional benefits from the insurance company for work not performed by the vendor, such as payment associated with replacement of damaged personal belongings and additional living expense. Often hidden within the verbiage is language attempting to allow the vendor access to items or information they would not otherwise be entitled to, such as the ability to contact your lien holder or insurer, request documents and investigative materials, and other personal information. The language reference for such an arrangement is called an assignment of benefits. Keep in mind, most vendors are upstanding and professional and would not ask consumers to sign paperwork expanding their right to insurance claim funds, but others are not. We wish to merely increase awareness of a rogue practice by only a few parties to have customers sign an assignment of benefits versus a direction to pay. When a person experiences a flood, fire, or any type of loss or damage to property, which is calamitous enough, it should not be complicated by issues with a vendor or contractor. In an effort to help protect innocent consumers, some insurers have responded by refusing to recognize assignment of benefits language unless all parties to the insurance policy agree to it. This is done for the protection of the homeowner and to preclude non-meritorious claims by vendors who are not a party to the insurance contract. To further protect consumers, changes are being proposed in the state legislature, which would amend current laws in Florida to address this issue. We hope this video has been helpful and informative to you. For a quote or assistance with your homeowner's insurance in Florida, please visit THIG.com. And remember, to protect your castle, look to the tower. <music>